Good morning and happy Monday. Here's a look at today's top stories. Platte County Sheriff's Office has charged two women in connection with a shooting that occurred Saturday in Northmore, Missouri. Members of the Riverside Police Department and Platte County Sheriff's Office responded to a shooting at a restaurant at 5.20 p.m. Investigators say a fight broke out between Aaliyah Kidd and restaurant workers over an order. Employees attempted to remove Kidd and another woman, Radisha Hansen, and that's when police say Hansen fired a shot. A female worker was hit in the foot. The employee was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. On Sunday, Platte County prosecuting attorney charged Hansen with unlawful use of a weapon and Kidd with third-degree assault. Both defendants are being held in the Platte County Detention Center. And the city of St. Joseph asking community members to get involved to help shape the future of Krug Park. Thursday, the city will host a community engagement open house from 4 to 7 p.m. at the Missouri Theater. It'll be the first in a series of three sessions over the next eight months. City staff and the Criteria Consulting team will facilitate the discussions. The purpose of the meetings is to identify ambitions, common goals, and collective values on Krug Park's renovation. And we're now just one month away from the August general election, and there's just a few key issues on the ballot for Buchanan County voters. In August, voters will get to decide if the county will impose a 3% sales tax on, quote, all tangible personal property retail sales of adult-use marijuana sold in Buchanan County. The tax would be countywide. Earlier this year, St. Joseph voters said yes to a 3% sales tax on recreational marijuana sold in the city. It'll be a fairly typical July day today. We're going to have a lot of sunshine and a high temperature around 90 degrees. Probably won't see a cloud at all as you go through the day today. And then tonight it will be mostly clear. We do have a 20% chance of rain and that'll be late tonight. 69 for the overnight low. And then tomorrow we're going to have mostly sunny skies again. We will have a few clouds to see tomorrow. 91 will be the high temperature. There's a 20% chance of rain. Winds out of the south southeast 8 to 11 miles per hour. And then as we look ahead to Wednesday, we got a 50% chance of rain, a high of 92. 50% chances of rain continue Thursday and Friday. 90 degrees on Thursday. Temperature gets a little better as we finish out the week. Highs 86 on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday.